Hey you guys, so I'm back with another video. So you can see by the title, it's gonna be like my update number three for trying to conceive and stuff like that with my PCOS and my fertility clinic. So I just wanted to go ahead and do a little update because we have some good news. Um, not Well, good news for myself, just, just positive vibes pretty much. So where to begin? Um, I last time i think i was said that i was gonna go to my clinic and stuff like that and do some blood work um so i went to go do my blood work it was like 12 twos plus like urine samples um so i went to do my blood work and urine sample got that around like two weeks or so um i got my results everything was good except um my vitamin d was low it was at a 19 and they wanted to do they wanted me to be at a 30 so just for that just pretty much went to go buy vitamin d um supplements so i've been taking that for like almost like a month now um as well i got my what else urine sample i think it was and then my blood work like i said and they also told me that i needed to do my second shot at the verse Ver varicella it's like the chicken pox um vaccine basically i got my last one in 1998 but you had to get two so they told me i wasn't immune to it yet so i went to go get that done like 15 days ago um so when I went to get that done, my reaction pretty much was like, not bruised, but it was like, you know how mosquitoes, they bite you and it's like itchy and swollen a little bit, like in this little area right here. Um, so that was that. So that was, that's been already 15 days with that. So then I contacted my fertility clinic and they told me after the 15th day mark, um, because you had to be pretty much clear of the risk, like the vaccine. Um, like I said before, I don't get my periods. Um, I had to take Provera um, to get my period. So I call in today. Today is April 29th. I call in today to let them know that it's been 15 days of my vaccine and as well they wanted me to take a pregnancy test just in case i was a pregnant um and they wanted a negative pregnancy test so i took that today in the morning and it was, came back negative i call around like 8 35 or 8 40 i called them i told them i left a voicemail because they don't answer the phone so you had to leave voicemails and then they call you back um so i left a voicemail saying that it's been 15 days of my vaccine already and i already took a pregnancy test i came back negative and i'm ready to take my provera so i can go ahead and start my treatments so pretty much like maybe an hour tops they call me back told me okay um just to confirm you did you took a pregnancy test and it came back negative it's been 15 days out of your vaccine and i said yes that yes and they said okay we're gonna go ahead and send your um farm your referral not referral but your medicine to your pharmacy i go to cvs and just that it's still in progress i still haven't picked it up because it's still in progress but when i checked uh, they gave me 10 10 pills of 10 mg of provera pretty much um progesterone or whatever it's called like the other name um i took um yeah 10 pills so i'm taking it gonna be taking it every single day for 10 days straight and then the medical assistant told me that two weeks tops i'm gonna get my period whenever i get my first period like my first cycle i'll go ahead and call them and then they can give me the other instructions of like letrozole and then the injections so i will have to go in probably to do all of that or they will just have send my um my medicine to the pharma pharmacy so a little bit backstory as well of my insurances if you have progeny um, through like your work and stuff so they don't send like my ferti and, like fertility like treatments or like my medicine to like CVS. Provera was totally fine because it's just Provera but like all of my injections, my letrozole and stuff like that um, they're going to be sending it to another pharmacy because that is connected to my progeny. So they're going to be sending it to Alto Pharmacy. It's based in San Francisco, California. I live like almost two hours away from here from san francisco so um pretty much they can do like same day delivery or delivery a day delivery um 
for me because I'm not here or not, I'm not in San Francisco. So pretty much that's going to be based. Alto Pharmacy is going to be pretty much taking over my like medicine and stuff like that, injections and stuff like that. So it's it's a little bit hectic, a little bit like thing because you have to do so much stuff for all of this like oh you have to go to another pharmacy you have to do this you have to do that so and my insurance progeny has progeny rx so and include the only pharmacy that covers that's alto pharmacy from san francisco so i've already did all that i did like a count i did all of my information with them and whenever i'm ready i'll let my fertility clinic know that they have to send it to alto pharmacy and then they'll do pretty much the insurance project will do the rest to send it over here is pretty much shipping is free because we're not there um so yeah so a little bit of that um that will be around like hopefully if it's two weeks it's gonna be like around may the second week of may like my first like cycle and stuff and we will start then but this is for the first step pretty much all of them were first times but this is another step closer to our IUI journey hopefully everything goes good if not then um we'll go ahead and do another one last time also you guys told you that I was gonna do IUI two IUIs um one IUI without trigger shots and one IUI with we changed our minds and we decided to do one IUI with the trigger shots and then if that didn't work we'll go ahead and do IVF um IVF is much much better because it's 60 to 70 percent um that will i will be chance to get pregnant um and if i have a lot of embryos then we can go ahead and save those to have kids more kids in the future so that's what was our plan and what that's what we, me and my husband decided so as well this is the one i'm taking vitamin d3 5000 for my vitamin d that's low and I really wanted to also add, um, as you can see, I edited some things out. But I also wanted to add that, like in my last, before this, um, my vitamin D was low. And then my, I have my computer here, but my prolactin, prolactin it was high. So what that means is a hormone released by the pituitary gland. Um, it's a small gland in the brain. Um, that it regulates the body um body balance of like many hormones um stimulates like the breast development and milk production in like women um so yes so my that was a little bit high i got 26.3 ng slash ml um i was a little bit high by like a 1.5 i believe um so the doctor prescribed me um Perlidil, that's how you say it right here, Perlidil. Um, and another name for it is Bromocryptin. <laughs> it will say right here, but I got prescribed that 2.5 mg. Um, I just take half pill either orally or I can insert it through the vagina area um, at every bedtime. So though I'm taking it orally because they're really small so super super small but yes and i already started as well my provera i went to go get it yesterday this is already april 30th um i was recording april 29th but um yes i went to go get my provera i really took provera um my first pill yesterday and today is the second pill i took it already um i take 10 pills for 10 days um, one pill each single day for 10 days and then they told me two weeks max I will get my period and then whenever I get my first cycle then I'll call them and let them know that I already got my period so we can go start off my IUI okay you guys that's pretty much it I just wanted to come in here and clarify some things and I'll see you guys on my next one bye you guys